Hey guys, today we will be setting up the environment for our project. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and name it whatever we want, but in this case we will name it chat application. So inside this chat application, let's go ahead and click git bash here. So what this does, it actually goes to your, your folder, your folder's path or directory, and then it's, it opens um, a git bash window and then goes to the directory that you're in. Okay, so in here, let's say npm init. So npm init initializes and creates a package.json file. A package.json file um, specifies or holds information about your project. So it holds something like the author of your of the project, the version of your project, the the uh, even description about your project, and it also holds another thing that, that is called dependencies. Dependencies are things that your project cannot run without them, or in other words, your project depends on them. See. Dependencies depends. So depends actually, I mean dependencies are is actually derived from depends. So let's go ahead and create the, the JSON file, the, the package.json file here. So it says package name, and in our case it's chat application, and I'm going to say it like that, keep it like that. The version is one because it's still the first version. Description, let's say um, a simple chat application um, that uses Node.js, um, what else? Express.js, socket.io, and jQuery. So, in description, the description field, you can specify whatever you want that it describes your project, okay? Entry point, which is the main JavaScript point. In my point, in, let's, let's, for now, let's make it index.js, okay? We're gonna, we can change it later. This command, we're gonna leave this empty, and I'm gonna explain this later. Get repository, leave this empty as well. Keywords, leave it empty. Author is gonna be the MMZ, and the license is gonna be ISC. So does this look okay? The name, chat application, which is the name of the project or the package. The version is one. Description is this. The main on um, script file is index.js. Scripts, which you can, well, I'm going to explain this later. Um, test, which says error, no test specified. Author, the MMZ, license, ISC. So, does this look okay? It does, actually. Let's click OK. OK. Now you can see by here, it's actually created a package.json file. If you can open it, and you can see here, if you go here and say npm, OK, test, it says error. Or it says echo, error, no test specified, and exit one. Error, no test specified, npm error, test failed, see above for more detail. So you can see that when you say npm test, you're actually um, running scripts from this table here. Okay, so if you type something like... Um, Hey, for example, and you say um, echo, let's say, um, hey guys, okay, it's just a, an example, and you run it, and you say npm, hey, you're going to see that it's actually an error, right? Why? Because we have to actually include another command that is called run. And then we're going to append the script name, 
for the script to it, which is hey, and it says hey guys. Now, why did we append or why did, why did we add the run command in hey, but we didn't add it in test? Well, such scripts as test and star, okay, th they are recognized in the npm default by default. So you're not supposed, or you're not. If you say something like npm run test, it's gonna give you the same result, okay? See, error, no test specified, which is what it printed it out here. But because npm recognizes recognizes these scripts, which is test and star, you don't have to add the to add the run command to the test script. Meanwhile, if you want to add a custom, a custom script, you have to put the run command to it. Okay? Now, we've tested this. Let's remove it. And let's remove the inside of the test script. So, when you run npm test, it actually says nothing. Okay? Because it's the same result. Okay, now let's talk about the, de the dependencies. Okay, now in your project, um, in your project, you of course have to include libraries and so on, right? And on this libraries, you import from them um, tools that you want to use in your project or in your yeah in your project, right? So without the libraries that you included or you imported. You cannot use these tools, right? So here comes the the use of dependencies. When you want to publish your project to a developer or a, or even a user, and you want them to install the libraries that you installed in your in your project, you can put the dependencies dependencies, okay? Let's say and let's add this. The dependencies, dependencies, okay. And here you can add a list of your libraries that you use in your project, okay. So that the other developers or the other users know that you are using this library in your project and then install it so that your project runs perfectly. So that's that the use of dependencies, and it's actually pretty good. I mean, not pretty good, pretty important to use it and to understand what it is. Okay, so we have initialized the package.json file, and in the next videos, we're going to be installing the libraries that we're going to be using in our project. Thanks for watching.